Good morning, or afternoon, or night, depending on where and when you're seeing this. I'm your daily uploading host, Flix, here, and unfortunately, I'm back from my hibernation to review a pretty substantial update to one tap. Substantial in the way that I broke all confidence. <laughs> oh. Alright, so now with Hyperflix dead and buried in a ditch six feet under our back somewhere, I'll be taking over, since no one bothered to actually cover this update. <laughs> So, what'd they rework? Let's see, I'll read directly off the patch notes. They reworked Resolver, Min Damage, Targeting, Auto Wall, Hit Chance, Exploits, or in plain English. Do you see this? It doesn't look the same as before. Oh my god, it looks very different. It looks very bare down basic, as you can see. They're all literally the same thing, which they were always kind of were. Pretty much only like, I think the op had one or two different options. So what they did is they pretty much gutted the entire thing. This used to be filled with features. It wasn't just override here and like nothing on the left side. It's pretty bear down basic now. And guess what? They moved everything towards JavaScript. <coughs> and Aimware pushes features to Lua's not uh, what that. And I've just gotten banned, ladies and gentlemen. That is that's how you get banned in about 30 seconds of the video. I don't know how long we're in the video we are right now. Anyways, um, they pretty much made this idiot proof, I guess. That's what I'd say, because it isn't hard to make a good config right now. I, I kid you not. Here, g g give me a scout. Or like, not a good config, uh, an okay, a config that works. Here you go, dynamic, dynamic min damage. I have issues with that, which I'll get to later. Um, here you go, keep all the hitboxes. 90, 90 this. Uh, auto stop, uh, lethal, here you go. Auto stop, lethal, and how do I turn it on again? Here we go, on. Uh, not hold. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. That made me flinch. <laughs> I think there's too many here. It's gonna get confused. It's gonna get confused. Yeah, it, this is getting confused. This is getting way, way too confused. And I should have silent name on, because that, that looks autistic. Like, look, this looks normal. This, this does not look normal. But let's assume someone literally just turned it on and just went there, okay? Oh, we're gonna have to go on to another map that doesn't have to... Can I turn off the bots here, actually? That's a good question, because there's a million features. I feel like I can turn off the- Oh my god, chill. I could turn off some of them. Um, or I can- Okay, I can lower the FOV. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Lowering the FOV will make my point. Okay, it is not making my point. It is not making my point right now. Oh! I did it for the op. No wonder. Yeah, yeah, bro. I'm, I'm gonna hit someone hit chance zero. Let's go. Hit chance zero. Let's go hit chance zero. Let's go. Let's go. You got this. I'm not even doing... Hit chance zero is not doing that bad, actually. <laughs> okay, here we go. 80. There you go. See? Like, literally, you can make an, a config that works in, like, five seconds. And this isn't gonna have, like, a resolver issue either. Well, I mean, everyone complains about resolver. Like, you'll be able to do decent, because you can't configure the resolver, right? <laughs> you can't configure the resolver, it's always on. So, Lil, you just, like, did you see? Five seconds of work, and you could actually hit people. You're literally doing nothing. It's idiot-proof, it's literally idiot-proof. Now, not to give everybody's eyes, like, uh, destroyed. Like, I, I kid you not, look at this. But, idiot-proof, 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 idiot-proof. So, I think that's kind of what they went for. Because they got a lot of, like, nice features I enjoyed, at least. I mean, they have forced body aim still. But what I enjoy is they used to have, um... Was it not force? It was override hitboxes. Yeah, it was override hitboxes on each of the categories. So what I used to do is I used to set it to, like, head only for the override. Sometimes you want to specifically hit the head. Also, about the hitboxes, because, um... Right, because, you know, like, oh, well, somebody just joined. They don't want to, they don't know how to do with their hitboxes. If you say your hitbox is, like, 91, you, you literally just overridden in half the hitboxes. Because you're, you're not going to do 91 on the feet or the legs or the pelvis or the stomach or the low. Actually, 91 on the stomach or the chest. I don't know about the lower chest, but, I, yeah, I think the stomach, the stomach, I don't know, I'm not sure. I know chest and up will hit 91 for sure. Oh, yeah, they also made it so you can go over, like, HP plus 10, HP plus 12, plus 20, plus 30. Uh, I'm, I mean, I have this for my HVH config set to, like, 6 or 8. For my opping, that is. Not a scout. That's pretty dumb. Just because sometimes when it comes to min damage, min damage sometimes hits for lower than it should. So this kind of ensures that you're getting a kill with the op type of thing. 
But yeah, dynamic is kind of the idiot thing where, hey, let, let us do it for you because you don't know how to config, man. So I think that's what they're trying to appeal to at least. Trying to appeal to people that just, you know, buy a cheat and want to do well spinning, I suppose. I mean, even their anti team. Their anti team is like, literally, just turn a couple things on. Um, with manual, manual. I like to use this X uh, Z X C just because it's comfortable for me. Is, is it on right now? Yeah, see, it's just comfortable to do. Like you've already got an anti and working pretty much. Just turn on your fake angles. Boom! Look, you got an anti and working already. You, you literally have to do nothing. So I feel like they're. I mean, I, it makes sense why they're trying to appeal to people that generally have no like experience config or anything. Because you could you could really hop in and make a f config in I don't know a minute. You can see, I actually had an HVH video which comes out, um, I don't know when, I've already recorded it before this. Well, you can straight up just do that. Like, it isn't even that hard. I mean, double tap, you can also turn on double tap. They got rid of the hit chance for double tap, unless the hit chance got moved over here. No, no, they didn't, because there's a hit chance for this. Double tap used to have its own hit chance associated with it, which now it doesn't. Once again, uh, more idiot proof. <laughs> <laughs> they got rid of a lot of customizability uh, and moved it actually over to JavaScripts. They didn't like make the JavaScripts. They just I I'd assume JavaScripts are made by now. Just like added the specific functions into the framework. At least I think that's how it works. I, I don't I don't really code, dude. I, I know a little bit of Java, which uh, I, I I can maybe I can make maybe make a text box that says flicks up top. That that's oh I all tapped. God damn it. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, anything else I could like want to look into right now before I actually bother to go on to the patch notes because patch notes has some more other interesting things including bug fixes it's just me like looking at it to see if anything's changed I don't think the anti ms changed here hold up I'm gonna load a config that I didn't update I, I did update my config just just, just, just so you see okay I update this it's called default now but I'm gonna rename it I'm probably not going to rename it I lied to you okay <laughs> there you go um, and, oh, no, so it has a JavaScript. Yeah, I, I don't know if they broke the Antium or not. Or, like, broke the config-based Antium. Because I have a JavaScript on for this. See, look, JavaScript. Boom, 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 boom. JavaScript, oh my god. I always had an Antium JavaScript. <laughs> I only, like, bothered to actually uh, do this because no one else has reviewed it. And I've, like, done reviews for both Aimer and OneTap, so... If they get an update, may as well review it. Because people actually watch these to see if they want to buy it or not, so. Yeah, you're welcome. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so we're back over here at Nuke, because I've never shown off Nuke in my videos. Now you guys have seen it. See, now I've shown off every single map. Anyways, now I'm going to talk about, I guess, various bug fixes and JavaScripts. Yeah. Because a lot of people ask how I make, like, colors different. And why I don't recommend using my JavaScripts. So, like, JavaScript, my, the BlockBot, actually, I don't have any teammates, so I can't show it off. The BlockBot works half the time, which you'll see in my video. Sometimes I just turn on and off so it actually works. Uh, the color correction, even if I turn it off, it's still on. And it also breaks your chams. The way it breaks it is that the chams will look different on every single map just because of how lighting works. Like, look, if I change my JavaScript right now, uh, color correction, world modulation... Uh, let's go something like that. Yeah, we're, we're going with pink. See, oh, come back over here, bro. Where are you hiding? You see, now it looks darker. Uh, now it looks darker still. Now it looks... I, I don't know what I broke. I, I broke something, okay? I Now it's just all dark. You know what? Load config, okay? Okay, load config. How dare you, bro? How dare you? You're literally embarrassing me. Literally embarrassing me, dude. The, the, bruh. Oh, it's because he's inside. Yeah, it's because he's inside. If he comes out in the light, you'll see his straight up, like, light. If that's the correct terminology for it. Come on. Come on, bro. One of you. Like, okay, he's light. You see? You see? Come on, Ferris. Right here, Ferris. Bro, you're literally in the shade still. Come on, come on. Right here, right here. Come on, Ferris. Bro, one like gets one. There we go. There. We Fair. Stop. 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 You see? Oh. You're useless. You're, you're honestly useless. You know, I'll just slow it down so you see the comparison. When he went, ooh, 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 ooh. yeah. 
that's the bad thing about using the world modulation, Lua. It's kind of not the best. They also apparently fixed some bugs with skin. Actually, I do know, I do know what they're talking about. Because there was a recent update. Um, yeah, skins. Ah, uh, flip knife. Okay, flip knife. I want to do this quickly so that, like, it makes sense, you know? So I don't have to do, like, oh my god, not, no. You know what, fine, we're doing a bayonet now. We, we have a bayonet now, okay? Oh. They still have it. Anchoron. Oh, no, no, it actually updates, okay. So what used to happen is when you used to click one of these, it actually wouldn't update. What you have to do is kill yourself in the console. No, I'm not stupid enough to open the console again. I did that once. Once in a bomb match, and I... <laughs> my streams were not all too happy about that. <laughs> Literally had to uh, stop streaming for a bit. Well, yeah, it, now it actually changes real time, which is a nice nice bug fix. Nice bug fix. I mean, it's kind of... You, know, you can kind of, like, see why they have bug fixes after, like, their major update. It makes sense. You can't really get everything done, and, like, something slipped through the cracks, so... That's kind of it. I believe they did some performance updates also, which I don't really see. Uh, they also worked on some crashing. But I don't think they tackled really all the crashing. Which I already talked about the JavaScript crashing. I believe I did at least. I, I don't recall what I talked about. But the game also had its own little bit of crashing. Uh, specifically when you get headshot. Like, not every time you get headshot. Like, maybe the hundredth headshot or something would actually crash your game in a pretty bad way. I don't think they fixed that. I'm not sure if it was related to JavaScript because I always have my world modulation Lua on. So that could have been it. But yeah, they still haven't fixed it because I was playing yesterday and it still crashed me. It's not even like specifically related to HVH. I was literally just legit cheating. Well, you know, uh, legit cheating. And it still crashed me. Which I didn't really care because uh, <laughs> matchmaking is overrun with legit with so this whole virus going on. Which is kind of why I'm not really uploading as much. I also don't want to play as much CS, really. I, I'm kind of bored of CS. You know, I've, I've done, like, three years worth of content. It's like, it's tiring, dude. It's tiring. Especially with meme hop dying. I, I don't really have jokes to make fun of meme hop. Which was the fun part, you know? You know? With, with meme hop, like, averaging sub-20k views. I, I, I don't know who I'm going to make fun of now. <laughs> I want to do some other things, which, um, yeah, we'll get to. Hey, so that's enough about me. I gotta. I have another segment. All right, so we're back. Here's a quick glance of generally all the updates: twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, and May first. I was gonna say April first, but that's May. Updates. They generally do up. Like I'll give them this. They update pretty regularly. I suppose. I I see like updates the start of the month, end of the month type of thing. Sometimes there's some that's like in the middle of the month, like here, here. They do update pretty regularly, and they fix their mess-ups. I don't know why this one's bolded. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, the last little segment is actually looking at what other people say about it, because I'm just one person that has their opinion. I mean, I, actually, I didn't give my opinion yet. I say it's okay. I mean, I, I don't really see anything's really changed. I played two HVH games with it. Um... One of them, the guy, my opinion was really bad. Because, like, I made a 30 second config and beat him. Like, how does that happen? I don't know. The other one was like, okay, I mean, it's working. Yeah? I, I'll have to get some JavaScripts just to add the functionality that used to be in the cheat, which is pretty annoying. Because, like, I, I, I like the override min damage. I like the override hitbox. Those are, like, the things that, like, made me, like, one tap more than anywhere. Not only the result, I mean,. Everyone complains about Resolver for everything. It's kind of... I mean, some of these also. I, I've read, like, through some of them. They're generally uh, Resolver, Resolver, Resolver. When you, when you don't know, like, what to complain for, you complain about Resolver. And when you don't know how to defend something, you say config issue. It's kind of the two um, juxtaposition parts. I feel like I've never used that word properly. Someone in the comments will probably fix it because someone, you know, uh, takes everything I say seriously. Anyways, let's go on to this. Uh, okay, quick reading this up. He doesn't want to stir up drama, which is, I, I don't want to get to Ben to men. And pretty much he says, ah, I don't like this man. Uh, okay, this guy disagrees, blah, blah, blah. But there's a general consensus that, like, people don't really like it that much. And some people are straight up just defending it. Wait, there was a certain, there's one point I want to agree with. Um, 
this, oh, I, of course, I had it highlighted. I agree with this. Dynamic damage is um, insanely broken. Yes, I'm assuming he's talking about the dynamic damage. The dynamic damage will not shoot the person. Unless it's a one shot. Well, okay, never mind. I actually disagree with you on the on shot part. I, I read that as one shot. But no, I, I disagree with you there. I haven't had that issue. But generally, my the issue I ran into when testing out dynamic damage, I mean, I wouldn't really recommend it, but someone that just gets into cheating just wants to cheat and do everything for them. Uh, it actually doesn't shoot like 90% of the time. It, it, it's really weird. <laughs> it's really, really weird. It's like, if I can like instantly tap them in the head, then it will shoot. Otherwise, it doesn't. I was testing it with an R8, so I was like, eh... Or it's not really the best thing to test things out with, but it was really like, hmm, don't know what's going on there. Why are you only prioritizing getting, like, him dead? My hit chance was, like, pretty low because it was an R8, right? So I, I don't know what they broke there. I mean, uh, so I, I get why they have dynamic instead of zero because <laughs> who wants to start off with zero? They should probably have a dynamic. Actually, could you have a dynamic hit chance? I feel like that'd be a lot of work to get a dynamic hit chance working. Yeah, that, I don't know. I mean, everything's possible, but, like, that'd be so much wasted work, I feel like. Because you'd have to tell the cheat, oh, well, this... No, because every situation is different. I, I don't know. It's just me, like, going off on a tangent right now. I use the word tangent properly. Oh, yeah, that is something I want to talk about. Okay, so what they used to have is they used to have, um, like... Wall bang, no, minimum damage through a wall, minimum damage just straight up when you're looking at someone. So when you're looking at someone, you know, prioritize head, like, min damage 90 or something, you know, like, you get the frag. And, like, through a wall, you want to hit them less, which also min damage override kind of helped there with, like, uh, some certain... Okay, I don't like, I don't like the cheat doing things for me. I like specifically telling the cheat what I want done, which is nice with the min damage override. Like, I want to shoot this guy right now for, I don't care, two damage, okay? Shoot them for two. It'll cause them to panic, cause them to jump. When they jump, I can peek out, frag them type of thing. Because a lot of people, like, freak out when they get shot. Because if you get shot for two damage or for, like, 50, it's the same animation that you go through in first person. Especially if you get dinked for, like, two HP. People, like, freak out, like, trying to move so you can easily get them that way. So that, that's kind of, like... What I'm talking about here, I don't like the cheat doing it for you. Hopefully, there's some JavaScripts that add the functionality back. I'm not sure why they removed it. Uh, maybe maybe for performance? I didn't really see performance at the major... Wait, no, it's not it. Is this it? No. I feel like I closed it. Yeah, I closed it. That's what happened. Performance. Oh, no, they did do some performance improvements. But I think they removed it just because of the reworking system. Not sure. Maybe they ran into an issue or something and might re-add it back in. Yeah. I'm not really sure. Not sure what sparked this update either. I can see the resolver. Because, like, everyone complains about resolver on literally everything. I, I kid you not. You can't really have a perfect resolver or else anti-aim becomes useless. If you can resolve everything, then what's the point of an anti-aim? You may as well not anti- Actually, except you can, like, hide your head. I don't know if this is an official... Okay, is this an official feedback? Because I had... No, it's not an official feedback. I'm disappointed. I'd really like if they had, like, an official feedback for everything. That'd be nice. But, like, like I was saying, people generally like the cheat when they join, you know? Like, I I don't like changes. I, I hate changes to stuff. It's annoying because you get used to it. But a lot, there is a lot of improvements. There's a lot of improvements. This is literally... Why, why is there, like, never any helpful feedback? Like, I'd love if they make a rule which is like, Hey, only constructive feedback, man. No arguing. Yeah, there should be, like, a no arguing in the feedback section. So, so I guess this isn't really that useful, because it's just a lot of people arguing. The bad for whoever actually has to read this. Okay, yeah, this guy, this guy. Thank you, Ethan. 420, Ethan. You make a good point. Finally, I finally... Yes, there's actually people agreeing, because he actually, like, makes a valid point. Bro, that pop up on screen. Ugh, ITL driver updater. It, it pops up so annoyingly in the middle of my recording. Okay, you made a valid point. Thank you. Like, they, like finally, I don't have arguing. They did remove a lot of stuff in configing, which is super annoying. Um, hit chance 55. That's pretty low. That's actually pretty low settings. 
desync when the, I don't know what de there might be an issue with desync when you have double tap. I'm not saying there is. I'm not reopening CSGO because I re really don't want to play CSGO. But yeah, he makes a very valid point, which is the same as I was saying. A lot of like configging options are taken away. I feel like I'm going off like how long? This is eight minutes. I'm gonna have to edit this down. But, like this section is way, way too long just for just me looking at people's comments. Uh, okay, you know what? I need to wrap this up. I need to wrap this up. We're, we're going, going way too over. I don't know. I, I like when I start like doing, it, I'm like, oh, it's enjoy it's enjoying not like playing the game, you know? Like commenting on stuff's fun, but like I, I just don't want to play the game. JavaScript, 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 scripting. I want to see if the functionality has been like added. Uh, proof scripts. Let's open both. Do, 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 do. Maybe this is it. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe any one way stuff's wall bang helper. Uh, I don't really see anything that's like fixed. Like, oh, but you gotta be added stuff back in. I wouldn't be surprised if people do it though. They added, like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? They added the ability to do it on a specific target. I don't know, but I don't think it, they, they added the ability to do it through walls. You know, like, damage through walls versus when you see the person. I don't know. People will probably be able to. People are smarter than me, okay, when it comes to scripting, okay? I'm, I'm just really good at talking into a Blue Yeti microphone. Like, do you see how soothing this is? And also very good at uploading once a year. <laughs> all right, all right that, 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 that's enough, that's enough. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more quality content. As always, peace, ladies and gentlemen. Stay amazing. Uh, final opinion. I wouldn't really say don't buy it. I'd say, like, wait a bit. If you really, like, feel like getting one tap right now, like, wait for an update or something just to add functionality back in. Or wait for the JavaScripts, I guess. You know, wait, like, a week or two for the JavaScript to start rolling out. And that, that's about it. I don't really see, like, like, any issues with it. Um... Being more, like, idiot-proof makes sense. Because as much as you guys, like, Oh my god, bro, I HV8 for life, man. I, I, I eat, sleep, uh, everything HVH. The majority of people just, you know, search on the internet. Hey, uh, Google, uh, best HVH cheat uh, CSGO. And then, you know, you, you come up on stuff. And then let's say you come on to one, one tap... And then it's pretty much, it, it does everything for you pretty much. You just have to turn hit chance on and then press on to anti-aim. And you've got a config that will work pretty well in matchmaking. And then eventually you'll learn how to HVH better and make a better config. But that's about it. So it broke configs, made configing extremely, extremely easy. Anyways, uh, that's all I really have to say on this. Already's in my outro, so see ya.